Mm, ghost stories, are they written by ghost writers? Not necessarily. Ghost writer is somebody who will take someone's manuscript and help them write it. Like somebody who really does not have good diction, good writing, good style or anything will go on and they will try and write something, but they realize that it is pretty rough. So what they'll do is they will hand it to a ghost writer who will polish it up for them. Another example of a ghost writer is someone who writes on behalf of someone. I think that a lot of V.C. Andrews's books, somebody told me, were published long after she had died, but they had a ghost writer that came in and kept her series going. A ghost writer is somebody who isn't the author, basically. And sometimes that can be really good, but if somebody has not been hired to be a ghost writer and they decide to take that ambition on, that can be a little problematic because you get somebody messing around with your story, with your plot, with your character, with your scene, with your vibe, with your feeling. And, you know, it's okay to take control back and get somebody else involved. A ghostwriter, if they're any good, are very careful about keeping the spirit of what you're trying to do and not put their own stamp on it. I've seen things done both ways. There are some authors that will use a ghostwriter. A lot of people that write their autobiographies will often have a ghostwriter. This isn't a new phenomena. For example, the Apostle Paul in the New Testament, you know, his epistle to the Hebrews was written by a ghostwriter, somebody that he gave dictation to, uh, his friend Clement. Realizing your strength and your weakness, if you have poor eyesight, you don't have a problem using glasses. If you have a hard time walking, you don't have a problem using a cane. If your writing is a little rough, it's okay to use a ghostwriter to show you and teach you how it's supposed to look, how it's supposed to sound, how it's supposed to go. Don't consider yourself a failure if you have to utilize that option because you're clever enough to know that it needs work. So that means you are really working towards becoming a great writer. And sometimes it's not even ability. Sometimes it's time. There are deadlines. People can't meet them. They'll use ghostwriters for that. Dear Abby, you know, she did not answer every single letter. Neither did Ann Landers. They had a staff. They had ghostwriters, people that were writing on their behalf, making the responses and things like that. So give it a shot, especially if you're a new writer and you're trying to come up with your style, your voice. Don't know who might be listening. Don't know who might be communicating. So use a ghostwriter. <laughs>